Okay, let's start with type one, what you know. Type one authentication covers passwords, pins, personal identification numbers, and passphrases. The difference between them would be that a password is some word or some sequence of characters that you would type in when asked. A pin is similar to a password in that it tends to be something that's secret. You may have been asked to choose it up front, but it typically is just digits or numbers. And a passphrase is a password that the receiving system then turns into a virtual password. So he takes the password, he does something with it, puts it through an algorithm, and creates the real virtual password that he then uses to validate and authenticate your identity. One thing you want to be careful about, make sure you select strong passwords. This is going to be part of your policy. Ensure that through the policy you instruct all of your users on how to create strong passwords. You want to make sure your policy addresses things such as password length. Make them long enough, but not too long. Long enough to make sure they're not going to be easily cracked. Another attribute of a strong password is the expiry date and time of password. In other words, when it expires, when it ceases to be valid. You don't want to have passwords that persist for long periods of time. A persistent password is one that is a little bit easier to grab because you have a longer time or an attacker would have a longer time to figure out either crack or copy the password. Many different ways that he can do this, but the longer that a password persists, the longer that an attacker can use it. Make sure that your policy tells your users how to construct good passwords and points out some of the mistakes that they want to avoid. Above all, ensure that your policies let your users know that security is extremely important and you've got to keep your password secret. As soon as you let somebody else use your password, you have no idea where it's going to end up. You also have no idea what someone is going to do with the password that they got from you. Keep in mind when you give somebody your password, it means that they can tell the system they are you and the system will believe them.